Well, what do you got to say for yourself? We've got knives, knifeys, and I guess I've never talked about the G10 Sultan by CH Knives. CH Knives. The Sultan. It says Sultan G10 on it. On the other side, it says D2 on it. That's it. And that is one. Whew, that's a dog, baby. And, and hey, ho, 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 ho. I'll, I'll do a measurement here in a minute. Just got this in the mail. Oh, by the way, had a little argument with uh, one of the knives. Um, but I got this in the mail just the other day. And I had almost forgotten that I had ordered this on uh, Kickstarter when they did that. And see, I got this pre-Kickstarter, okay? But when Kickstarter came out, I go, damn, I think I got to get me a Poiple one. And I did. And, uh, and here it is, folks. With purple thumb studs, S35 VN blade, and this is not Timascus or Mokutai. That's just a, that kind of a effect anodized on an insert in here, which I think is way cool. Flipper tab. Oh, by the way, it does have a flipper tab. You can use that. But man, I like to middle finger flick it. That is really, really cool. But they are big, big ass dogs. Hold on. And if you don't want to spend uh, whatever it is for this, I forget, man. It's on the Knives Spot, okay? K-N-I-V-E-S-S-P-O-T dot com. Um, and I'll put discount code down there. I believe they gave me one as well. But uh, here's the G10 version. They just posted it on their site not too long ago. We got four inches of craziness and four inches of blade cutting area which is about 103 uh, millimeters overall length we didn't get to nine what a failure eight and three quarter that's ah, a little girl knife i guess i'll throw it away 22 over 22 centimeters so whew, oh it'll sweep you hold on where's a piece of paper come on come here here jack oh when did i do something did that just jump off by itself? Yeah, that that is uh, <clears throat> it is sharp. Yes, uh, don't play with it when you're on your blood thinner. No, that's not a good idea. And oh, by the way, this was my pre-production model. Uh, well, stick around and you'll actually get cut. And that one? Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. Never mind. Don't need to be convinced anymore. I think we're good. Uh, but these, I mean, the titanium ones are way cool. But if you like going the G10 budget route, then I'm gonna I'm gonna throw these bubsies out because right now I don't really want to talk about them because I've already done a video on the titanium version. I just want to bring the G10 on home. And okay, come on, it's a liner lock. So let's kick it open like this. And you got to move that liner over. They give you a little place to uh, get that over, but not much. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. Centered, mm, yes. Lock up, yes. That's 30, 35%, I reckon, I guess. And yeah, uh, middle finger. Oh, fail like a wuss. Okay, there we go. Give it a kick. Oh, oh, I wanted to come after that blade on that one. Boy, that would have been unfriendly had I followed it, you know, kicked it right into the blade. Wow. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, got a little, you know, choil in here. So, yeah, you could get up on it if you... No, no, I don't want to, actually. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend that. Plenty of room back here. Pretty neutral, although it's curved. But, yeah, it's it's okay. It's not a deep carry clip. That would be nice if they would have done that with this. Although, 
maybe the overall length uh, making the handle long, they didn't want it sitting too deep in your pocket. But uh, I don't know. Hmm. Two screws sitting there. Doesn't matter if they kind of sit up like that because uh, they have nothing to do with, you know, going in and out of your pocket. Uh, it looks all right, and I know I've carried this a couple times, and I don't remember it being a problem. So, there's that. Contour G10. Uh, I believe it comes, yeah, it comes in different colors. If I actually had information on it. pa -ching. Here you go. Knives Spot. And there's the Sultan. 34. Banging bucks. And, of course, you get three different colors. So, yeah, I got the green, and here's your uh, specs on it. D2. We've tested the D2 steel on the uh, budget CH knives, so yes, we know that's real. I haven't checked this particular one, but we've done some tests on some of the more recent models, so we're good. Four millimeter blade stock, we'll see. Um, handle thickness, half inch. Overall length, 8.78, that's correct. 3.84 uh, weight, that's not bad. So, and uh, so I'll give you the link to this, to this page and you can look it up if you're interested in this G10 salt. And I just thought, you know, that the titanium one was such a hot looker, but money, you know, money. Um, and so, not that I object, but, uh, you know, that's probably not one I'm going to take out and beat up. And this one, you can. And you can have a hell of a lot of fun doing it, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. Well, we were going to check the uh, blade stock. And we're at zero. So let's see if we got four. We got four at the door. Uh, okay. Yeah, there we go. Leave it alone. 0.15 and half an inch. Wow, okay, yeah, 12.8. Like I said, there's no backspacer. I, I, It's light enough. I mean, I think you could have added a backspacer to it. I, I wouldn't mind that. Deep carry pocket clip and a backspacer would have been nice. Mm, nah, I'm not going to touch the blade here. Ooh, blade to handle length. Yeah, it's all it can be, isn't it? And it looks centered. I'm not getting any play, lock, rock, any of that. So that's solid. And yeah, I like the thumb studs. They're kind of that funky gear pattern look, aren't they? Turn you on here, buddy. What are we doing? Okay, yeah, 3.85 and uh, 109 grams. So, oh, well, if you guys were curious... Only 114 grams for the titanium one, huh? And what do we got? Four ounces? Four. Right at it. Man, that's a big dog. That's for for no more than that. Uh, but yeah, I mean, uh, a lot of people don't talk about CH knives. And there's a lot of other knives they don't talk about a lot, like Max Ace or Midnight Cat Studio or... You know, different J Fuel or Bear Claw or Ganzo or whatever. You know, I mean, there's just a lot of stuff. Petrified fish. We we we're just off road here. I mean, we do a lot of crazy, unusual, and these guys are not cloners. These guys, these are original designs. It's just that a lot of people are just not familiar with the knives and. These are very inexpensive. So, no, this is not a $400. This is, not, you know, that kind of thing. So, you're not in that category. But, I mean, hey, you're looking at, there's knives that are 52 bucks. Where's my, have I got another one over here? Where's my fish? So, you know, like, God, he's buried under here. So, Best Tech or Civivi, that kind of thing. They're in the $50 range. And this one, 34. So, okay. Um, this is D2. I can't remember if this is D2 or if this was the 9CR18. I do like the Vexor, though. And, of course, the Best Tech Swordfish. Yeah, I like them knives. But, I mean, hey, uh, this is a nice change-up. 
Take a look at the standoffs. They look good. We will take this apart. Oh, looks like they skeletonized the liner on the top at least. So that's nice. The design flows really nicely. So that's good. I mean, that's a nice satin grind. Let's take a look at the plunge. That looks very nice and symmetrical. Of course, um, Chen Ping, I think is his name, is the owner, and he used to work at Kaiser. So it's not like the guy doesn't know about knife manufacturing. And he's doing their design work, so I think he's doing a great job. I mean, think of it. Okay, just these are just recents, right? Like the CH Spear. And this is just an anno job as well, okay? Good looking. This was on Kickstarter. And then, of course, I, I don't know if I could have to just say this might still be my all-time favorite. That and the Sultan. But this is the Emperor. And that's just one great looking uh, knife here. Absolutely. Just everything about it. I really like, I, I really am drawn to the design. I like these extra little splotches of color and it, it really has, I mean, it just walks right around. The action on this thing is just addictive. So that's nice. And one more that you may not know about, which is this one right here. And, and this one, I believe, and I can't read. Hold on. Has it got the name on the box? Hell no. But it's got a name. You can find it on the knife spot. And I forget. Uh, the Oh, it's just the CH. Uh, okay. CH 3538. Is that? 3538, I guess. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. That's it. That's a hell of a good looking knife right there too. So yeah, I don't remember all the knives all the time. Trying to keep up. Can't keep up with CH. They keep getting after it. But yeah, these are some really nice ones. These are ones I have kept for a while because uh, I really am, uh, yeah, not feeling like letting them go. Sorry, just, yeah, these are some real favorites of mine. Um, and this is nice. G10, carry, and don't worry. Carry, and don't worry. Comes in a box. It's a solid box and everything. It's nothing to write home about and that kind of thing. See what I'm saying? But, you know, okay. I mean, I don't care. And At least it's solid. At least it's solid. But, yeah, ergos are pretty good. When you do this, you're going to, you're going to, get some people in the wrong places um yeah i'm kind of up in here on that so it's not you know the king of ergos let me see if reverse grip is actually more comfortable because i guess my two fingers here are fitting right there and that hump is right between yes very nicely so actually reverse grip is nice but yeah i like it it's light uh, i know it's long but it doesn't feel that way in your pocket you know yeah so it, it's pretty maneuverable uh and let me see where is my balance point okay there's my balance point easy to find well which side do we go to because we got the ability to go in either way which is good because if that thing turns on us, like it is, now let me see if I can stop it. Okay, let me try this, or I'll put another number eight on the other side, break it loose, which I'm going to do. So we got a hold of both sides. And this ratchet, so let's see who's coming out of where. Eh, I guess. Yeah, there it is. Okay, okay. I guess it was coming from the front then. We'll see what the whole pivot looks like. C come on, get in there, buddy. Okay. Uh, we'll see what the whole deal looks like when we get done here. 
get it apart. And you're out of here. Okay, they just, no problem, but the pivot needed a little uh, support on the other side, that's for sure. And these these are coming off real easy. So they weren't locked down at all that I can tell. And they look the same size. And, uh, well, there's our G10 scale. Nothing all that big a deal there. Uh, we don't have any additional screws holding the liner in place, so we should be able to take this off without much trouble. There we go. All right. Ooh, getting a little thin there, isn't it? Yeah, way thin there. But I guess it works. I mean... It's not like uh, that's a big deal structurally. And let's get this off. So we've got bearings, but they don't look ceramic, okay? Like it's a huge deal. And, of course, we got a round pivot coming from the back side. Here's our lock side. Yes, we do have a ceramic ball for the detent ball. Interesting in that regard. Of course, we still got the pocket clip screwed through in into the liner. So, yeah, I could tell there was some yeah thread locker in there holding it all down. But if you look at this, um, it's really pretty damn clean. It's really pretty clean all the way through here. There's not much, you know, debris or any kind of residue in particular. All right, that's that's the total layout here for being able to at least take it apart to maintain it, service it, whatever. You don't have to take this out to be able to service your knife uh, or clean the pivot, that kind of thing. So you got the, the pivot screw coming from the back. It's round, so it's not D-shaped, which means... You know, you might, if you put too much thread locker, you're going to have to hold it from this side and from this side to break it loose. But at least they give you that to do that. So if they had just machined this screw here smooth to where you couldn't get a Torx in there, well, oh, oh, oh we're going to have a big problem, right? But they didn't do that, so that's okay. I mean, I let that pass if that's what they want. I prefer D-shaped pivot, but in this case, this works. And you got to start thinking about pricing, too. It's not a $55 or $65 knife, which is, you know, a good thing. And we're going to put a little joy juice on there. We're going to throw this blade back, and we're coming from the backside to do that. So we're going to compress that lock bar down and then we're going to put this on and put some more joy juice on it and then we're going to throw our liner on there which is a little thin on top don't you think that was interesting hmm I i'm not a machinist and i'm not doing cad drawings and stuff like that but they didn't leave themselves much there did they um Here's, of course, your blade stop is built in. It's internal, so it just travels this track here. Okay, so that's your open, that's your closed. Um, and now it's closed. So let's throw the, and, of course, you know, another thing I didn't mention, which, of course, you know, rings your bell, which is the fact that the steel liner is embedded in the scale. Okay, so it doesn't stand out on its own. And, you know, I don't really care. I kind of don't mind that they show like they do here. Um, yeah, I think it may add a little bit more weight, though, as well. You know, like on the Vexor, they did that too. But a lot of knives, it's embedded. So, all right, let's, uh, let's lock this part down. And, uh, and I don't know if I'm going to have to, I don't think I'm going to actually have to support this. I, I can hold it enough to get it to tighten down to where, yeah, it'll be centered. 
and I'll check that for play here in a minute. But uh, okay, one, two, and these are number sixes. It'd be nice to go all number eights on the body. I think they do that on their titanium ones. So, okay. And we're good there. Yeah, I was going to grab the titanium. Yeah, see, titanium ones. Uh, yeah, those are number eight. So, okay. Just wondering, but yeah, these are number sixes. Okay, are we tightened down enough here? Do we have play? No, we don't have any play. Uh, did I hoss it down maybe too much? No, I think it's okay. Yeah, I think it's just, just, just right. All right. C.H. Sultan, NG10, very affordable, pretty lightweight. Of course, it doesn't have a backspacer. It's got embedded liners, and the top one's skeletonized. But it has a 4 millimeter bl thick blade stock, and that's a big old long blade. That's 4 inches all day long, almost 9 inches overall length. Lanyard hole, by the way. Cool looking. And, you know, the whole C.H. Sultan line, I don't know, he must have been going to the to the Middle East uh, for the Persian influence here. But uh, they, these are three uh, crazy looking knives, aren't they? Might want to check them out on Knives Spot if this is something that appeals to you. It did me. It grabbed me. You know, when I saw these, I'm going, wow. I'm going to leave you to it. Thank you so much. You know what we do. Oh, yeah, we love them knives. It's over there, folks. You guys stay sharp.